Hey guys, Joseph the World here, and today, yet again, we are talking about another Pred. The woman you see on your screen right now is Rebecca Cooper, the first female nonce we've ever talked about on this channel. And also, disturbingly enough, this person is still on social media, where she updates and uploads about monthly different videos on here on YouTube. But I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Before we talk about a channel, let's talk about the actual sting itself. Now, there isn't much to show. I, can, I will show her getting arrested, but I'm going to have to censor it because there's a lot of cussing from people around and from the sting or from the hunters. Now, she was communicating with 16, 15, and 14-year-olds. Now, that might include real children, and that definitely includes the Predator hunting teams, allegedly. But you might be wondering, what was she actually allegedly saying to these supposed minors? Well, she was talking about how to do certain things, and that she would teach them how to do certain things. Now, you might be... But let's just not hear this from my own words. Let's hear it from Rebecca Cooper herself, because she has uploaded onto her YouTube channel admitting to these allegations. A video titled, Should I Ever Be Forgiven For What I Did In January? Can People Move On? I just wanted to do a video to say um, the crimes I committed this January that I was arrested for, which is soliciting, uh, soliciting a activity because I've been talking to children online and talking to them and talking inappropriately to children online um well it was actually a decoy but you know it's the same sort of thing they judge it as the same thing because obviously you know I was talking to a to a 14 15 year old and stuff and because of that they um, had me arrested in January and I've been through the courts for it and everything and I've got a very strict community order. The, um, the very sad thing about it is that I've committed this crime. It meant that I had to be kicked out of my partner's house. Um, it was a video with my face on with the live sting and they explained what happened on the live sting and all the gross details and that, how I was gloating about abuse animals and all that and talking extremely explicit to a 14 year old and all that kind of thing they go into very big details but uh, obviously that was in January uh, nothing's ever happened since um, luckily but does that mean that um, I should ever be forgiven for that crime and should I ever be allowed to go back to the way things were before I committed the crime, like moving back in with my partner and um, being allowed to live with him again uh, is a big thing for me because he's saying that all the neighbours in his area were very upset by the incident because it caused a right raucous in the street. And he's saying all his neighbours will, will never, ever, ever, ever forgive what happened and saying that the whole street will never forgive what happened because it disturbed the whole street and saying that it will never be forgiven, that sort of crime. He said to me that that sort of crime never gets forgiven. There's genuine mistakes, I'll 100% admit, and then there's horrible crimes like what you did. No, you are not forgivable. And that's not the only video she's uploaded like this. She's uploaded quite a few where she kind of talks about the whole situation of what's been going on there is another video where she brags about how she never actually served any prison time and that she has freedom but i'm not gonna play that because it is quite a not a long long video but at the same time this video is already kind of stretched out and i kind of want to talk about another video where she apologizes for stuff hello people i just wanted to do a very 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 positive video now i am only gonna literally stick to positivity and no negativity whatsoever not one single negative word or comment is to come out of my mouth from now on 
no winding people up on purpose and trying to upset people and cause negative reactions no 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 anything like that you know i i had um I was in tears last night and having a rough, rough time thinking, coming to terms with the fact that all the problems in my life have been created by myself and that all the problems in my life were created by me and me alone. Everything was my fault and solely my fault. There is no... My actions in January can't be excused with my abilities. They can't be excused with the psychiatric report, you know. Nothing can excuse my behaviour, what I did in January. Preying on, on, on people and stuff. Nothing can ever change that and what I did for attention. And the same things I, I said about 14-year-olds for attention. Nothing can ever change what happened in January. If I had a magic wand, I'd change time completely. And I'd skip back to before it happened and change things and make sure it didn't happen. Um, you know, I overstepped the line way too far with, it, with what I did in January. When I started going on about, uh, going on about, you know, kids and stuff, that was way overstepping the line. When I started going on about that and started being as regards that, then that's when I overstepped the line and mo and really move to negativity but i want to apologize and please thank you bye i think i forgive her don't you guys no i don't either there's no excuse in her actions and even if she is being genuine there in that video there um her actions will never ever just disappear she was talking to many many minors and bragged about it that she could get away with it because she knew, knew how to play the system. And seemingly, she has gotten away with it. She got sentenced to a community order, from what I've, or from what she says, but that doesn't, necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean a harsh punishment for her. That just means she can't at least stay, what I'm guessing, with her husband right now. But we don't know when that runs out. I can't find the information publicly out there unless she puts it out. I'm not going to leave a link to her channel because I don't want her getting subscribers and attention, as I've already have probably already showed off her channel a bit. Um, I will leave a link in the description to the Sting, and my honest thoughts on this person, she shouldn't have a YouTube channel, she should be off social media, so she's not a risk to any more potential victims, and she shouldn't be... Whoever is she's living with right now... If she's not living with herself or if police still need to check on her, she shouldn't have a device. That's just my opinion. She should have been sentenced to at least some ter term of jail. But again, I don't decide these things as much as I might disagree with what they're sentenced to. This has been Joseph the World. Make sure to like and subscribe. Obviously, these videos won't be as consistent anymore because of the community strike or whatever. Community guideline strike. And I don't want this channel getting a proper strike and risk being terminated. But yeah, see you guys in a bit. Peace.